So I have interesting challenge mm. to try to describe the experience of praying with the uh, with the Kabbalistic meditations of the Arizal and the Rashash. So, well, first of all, there's a like the the basic gain. Um, I think that like anyone that is like getting involved with that is that it keeps the mind busy with those thoughts about them, those meditations. So like many people they are experiencing a um, hard time concentrating and removing other thoughts that are coming into their mind and that that that's a big like uh, help because the the mind works in this way that when you try not to think about something so then you think about it so the best way to avoid thinking about something that you don't want to think about is to think about something else that you do want to think about so the meditations are basically fulfilling the mind with the with those holy concepts which is you know that's a, that's a big that's a big advantage and to be to think and to try to connect with with our heart and mind into those realms with those uh, special kabbalistic concepts so you definitely uplift it's uplifts it, like the the person being that like you the, you know many people when they are thinking about like what they what they want to pre- think about so they think about all kinds of things that are like very very basic which is also good to connect to the prayer in li- like in a basic uh, basic level of like what do i need physically it's it's also a good beginning for for a prayer but when we get to that like new dimension of those holy concepts of the kabbalah so it is it is different it's different prayer it's not about like it's not so much about like me and what i need it's about like what needs to happen for the big tikkun that uh, we're hoping that will take place very very soon and it's like it's a p- being being part of a big process of something that is happening in the spiritual dimensions how Hashem is like bringing the light down from all kinds of different channels and like each each you know part of the of the creation is receiving that uh, that light of Hashem and everything is get purified and uplifted so to 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 be part of that to be to observe to observe that that uh, that big process that takes place it's uh, it definitely gives you like feeling that you are part of something very big and significant and um, and that's that's a wonderful feeling that to like in a way it's like Hashem is inviting you to be like to be his partner in this uh, big process that is that is happening in the world and i think that that's a uh, you know that's the that's the special privilege of the Jewish people that we got that like huge amount of knowledge the, from all of those uh, books or in rabbis or that reveal those the m- amazing like revelations so it's, uh, it's uh, it, so for me i describe sometimes uh, like the the prayer like an airplane so our heavenly father gave us like a uh, like this airplane that uh, he wants us to take advantage of it and the people that they have the possibility to get involved with like the deeper meaning of the kabbalah and the meditations and they choose to you know keep it simple and not being involved with those so i describe it like using the airplane like a car that you're like driving on the on the road with the airplane so it works like you know you can drive with the airplane on the highway but like that's that's not what the airplane is there for you like you have wings you can fly so if you're not taking advantage you're not taking advantage of, of the present that Hashem gave you so 
in a way it's like an insult so obviously it's not something that anyone is like ready to jump into you know you have to learn how to fly the airplane before you uh, like take off uh, you don't want to crash <coughs> but uh, it's definitely worth it and anyone that have that possibility you know it's, uh, that's the, the best uh, the best of the best so yeah highly recommended <laughs>